Hello, so in this lab, I'll show you how to create a, a multi branch build pipeline. So, what is a multi branch build pipeline? So, inside your Git repository, right inside your repo, you can have multiple branches. You can have a master branch, you can have a development branch for your development code, you can have a testing branch for your testing code. You would like to build each of them whenever the changes are made to the respective environment or respective branch. Okay. So what we can do inside our Azure Pipelines YML file is and do a small change right in all three YML files. Again, we will need to do this. You need to tell over here that do the build not only when the master branch triggers, but whenever there is a change inside the development branch and the testing branch as well. Whenever there is a change in master, master branch, development branch, or testing branch, the uh, build job should get triggered. So I'll tell the same thing inside development and I can say the same thing inside test or else I can say whenever there is a change. So since this is a master branch, so whenever there is a change in master branch, a job should be or else whenever there is a change inside the development branch, right, a job should be. I'll go with this approach where I will define all the branches name. Whenever there is a change inside these branches, my uh, build should get triggered. Update my YML file. I'll update the same YML file inside the development branch as well as inside the test branch. Okay, and now I can go to pipelines. I can see three triggers over here. First trigger is basically invoked due to the master branch changes. Second trigger is invoked due to the development branch because we updated the YML file of the development branch. And the third trigger is happened due to the changes because we updated the file in the test branch. Now, whenever I do changes inside code, so let's say I change right something inside my development branch. Okay, let's say do a small change inside pages and let's I updated over here as development. Okay, what this will do is this will trigger my build job. Okay, so I will see one more build job over here. This build job has happened again happened due to the changes inside the development. So this is how you create a multi branch pipeline. Right, if you go with a other approach where each branch has one trigger name, not all the triggers name. Then that scenario you would need to you would need to create three different uh, build pipelines. So this approach goes well, where you have same YML file inside all the environments with all the necessary trigger as branches name. And whenever you do the changes to a specific uh, branch, that should trigger the uh, build pipeline for you. Alright, so this is it for this lab.